Hey Floss Tube, it's Taryn. Welcome, welcome back, whatever the case may be. Um, it is Saturday, November the 5th, and it's good to have you here. I hope everybody had a good stitchy week. I did not get that much done. This is like, I don't know, take 37 for this. <clears throat> I made it almost all the way through. And then my camera cut off on me, so we'll see if we can get this done. I don't know. Anyway, I did not get much stitching done last week. We are doing a software conversion at the office, and by the time that we've gotten home in the evenings, my brain is too tired to think about anything else. But I did do a couple of things. Um... So, let's see. For the Stitch Mania Election Challenge, or Stitch Along, I guess it's not a challenge. Um, the 29th was Purple States. You're supposed to stitch something with purple in it. Y'all have purple. I do not have purple. It was hard for me to get this one. But I had this Kitchen Sweet Kitchen and I had started on this one for Stitch Mania. And you see it right there. That little jar has purple in it. That's what I could find in my stuff that had purple in it. Um, for Stitch Mania, I put in about, I don't know, 10 stitches on that little apple there. Just enough to be a start. And so, and I'm doing mine on linen. I'm not doing it on the towels. And I thought, there's no way I'm counting over, I'm doing it two over two, there's no way I'm counting over to that on this linen. So I stitched my way over in to the jar in order to get the purple jar done. So I did get my purple done, there you go. <clears throat> and then on Sunday, October 30th, was Make Whips Great Again. And you were supposed to stitch on... A whip you hadn't stitched on in a very long time. And while I was out here digging around through stuff, I found one that, once again, I had forgotten even starting. I apparently do that a lot. But it was out of this Garfield book. Um, I've done this one on the cover already. But I, it was a little ornament, um, this one. And all that needed to be stitched were his wings and his halo, and then the back stitching done. And Dax decided last Sunday that we needed to go to the Renaissance Festival, which is about a three-hour drive for us. Um, so I decided to take this and stitch on it in the car. Um, and I got his wing done and his halo and started the back stitching obviously but if you look you can tell that his wing at the top is a little bit darker and that was already there that stitching was already there I did the bottom of the wing um, they're both supposed to be white and you see that stain but this right here look at that I'm gonna throw it away and that was there, that stain was there when I took it and was stitching on it, but I had hopes of being able to get it out. I got After we got home, um, one day this week, I washed this. This has been washed. This has been soaked. This has been spot treated. Um, it has been scrubbed with a toothbrush. It has had super special stain remover put on it, and it hasn't even lightened it a little. I mean, it, so, so I guess I did that stitching for nothing. So into the trash it's going to go, and that's all the stitching I've done this week. I have not stitched on anything since Sunday. Oh well. While we were at the Renaissance Festival, I did make a purchase. It was not cross-stitch. I'm still safe. Speaking of which, 
you ladies that commented on my last video about me being in Vegas and having committed to not spending any money in November and December on cross stitch. Um, I don't know if you women are evil or if you're evil geniuses, but your comments on technicalities for being able to still go shop cracked me up. Like I said, I don't know if you're evil, if you're geniuses, I, evil geniuses, I don't know, you're brilliant. You are brilliant, but I'll make it through. I'll be okay. Um, anyway, I just thought those were so funny. I did, I bought this notebook. I have been looking for a book to use as a gratitude journal, and I've been looking for quite some time. Um, probably pushing a year because I had all these specifications. Uh, I wanted it to be leather and I wanted it to be soft and, and pliable and I wanted it to be special and you know not just one that was mass produced in a factory. I wanted it to be special but I also didn't want to spend a hundred bucks on it which surprisingly gets really hard to do and they had a shop at the Renaissance Festival that had all kinds of different leather stuff and the two guys that do it they make all of these um, were in there to talk to and everything in this one has like see it's got this little buckle here to open it and the leather is all soft and it's handmade paper inside and the uh, the paper is sewn in it's not glued in or anything um, you can see the stitching there and all of those things are it's it's all stuff I wanted so so I took the plunge my husband knows me very well because I looked and looked and looked at them and there were two of them, this one and another one, and I couldn't make up my mind so I'm like, come on, let's just go. And he knows me well enough to know that if I'm out of my element, directions, I, I have no idea where I am. So pretty much he walked me in a big circle around the Renaissance Festival and back into this shop to force me to buy one because he knows that otherwise I probably wouldn't. I would just go, I don't know, and put it off. Like, I'm drinking out of my sexy coffee cup. Anyway, so he took me in there and forced me to buy one, and I did. And now I need to sit down and play with it. And I like doing a gratitude journal. Um, and this time I've decided not to try to, because I felt forced before when I was doing one where it's like you have to do it every day, you have to do it every day. And that kind of made me push back a little bit, I guess, which is really stupid because I'm pushing back against myself and against a good thing. But, you know, even if I don't write in it every day, to have it there and make me focus on things that I'm grateful for, you know, pushing myself to focus on what's right and because it's so easy to get in a spiral of everything that's wrong and forget all of the great things that are going on around us um, and kind of to help you help you help me think differently about all of this stuff and because even now I do try to remind myself when I'm complaining about the sink being full of dirty dishes again, um, which it seems like it always is, to stop and remember that a sink full of dirty dishes means that we have plenty of food to eat. And that is something to be grateful for because not everybody does. Um, so, 
Anyway, off my soapbox, I'm sorry. Um, that's all the stitching I've gotten done. I did come across where I had printed out a bunch of, look at, look at all this, a bunch of free patterns, um, freebie February on Facebook. If you haven't signed up, you should go do that. Uh, they have some, that's where, these all came from links from, from that page. And I'll try to remember to put, uh, to put it down in the comments, the link. But I think I'm going to go through some of these. It's not daylight yet outside, so I've got time before I have to go and start running the errands I have to run today. Um, so I may kit up some more of these because goodness knows I need to kit up some projects. But they're here and they're cute, so why not? And then maybe I'll sit down and stitch. Today's is tough for the Stitch Mania. It is Electoral College, 270 votes. It's how many you have to get in order to be elected. Um, and you could mix it up, you know, with that 270 any way you wanted to. But I think I'm just going to try to put 270 stitches into a piece. But I haven't picked a piece out yet to do that, so I just don't know. Um, but I'm going to try to work on that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to, even though I missed all those days, I had thought about trying to go back and catch up and, and do the ones, but then I'm just going to put myself in a position where I'm going to be stressed out about it and... There's no point in that. So I will start with today, hopefully, and move forward and see where that goes. Anyway, I hope, I guess that does it. I don't really have anything else going on. Um, so I hope everybody has a great week. I hope you get a lot of stitching done, and that I do also. And I want to thank everyone for the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, and even if you didn't do any of those things and all you did was come and hang out and watch, thank you for that too. I appreciate it. It, uh, it means a lot to me and in this community when we watch each other's videos and stuff, I don't know, I feel like we know each other and, and I like that. So, thank you. I appreciate it more than you know. So anyway, y'all have a great week and get lots of stitching done. I'll try and we will see you back here next week. Thanks. Bye.